I'm Dick Lindzen. Um, I'm a professor of atmospheric science at MIT. Been teaching here for about 26 years. Before that, I taught at Harvard and before that at Chicago. Been an academic all my life, uh, for better or for worse. <laughs> and uh, one of the areas that I've been working on for many years, perhaps too many, is climate. Uh, as such, I felt that over the years we were making some progress in understanding how climate worked. It's a difficult question, it has many aspects. The Earth has done so very many things. I mean, we've had uh, 50 million years ago the so called uh, equable climate of the Eocene when uh, the poles were warm enough so that near the poles at Spitsbergen uh, you had alligator fossils. Uh, we've also had the sequence of ice ages during the last 800,000 years. Um, they're even going back uh, two and a half billion years ago we had something called the early faint sun when, uh, as best we can tell, the brightness of the sun was 20-30% uh, less than today. And yet the geological evidence is that uh, the oceans were unfrozen. Just for a point of comparison, uh, this is a change at least 10 times bigger than we expect from a doubling of CO2. Uh, and yet uh, it's entirely possible nothing dramatic happened. So the evidence, I think, is that while the climate is variable, there are bounds to it, and uh, the system itself overall is quite robust. Having said that, uh, we're now in a kind of panic state over what uh, seems to be a small change in the forcing. Uh, whether that's legitimate or not, I can't say for sure. But I would think any reasonable person would begin to wonder if this wondrous climate engine is simply a function of one parameter, CO2. And that would be implausible. And yet with Copenhagen, it, it almost seems as though uh, people are not only accepting it, but uh, wishing to canonize it in international law. I mean, that would set back science, the science of climate generations. In fact, the whole idea of international law deciding science would set back science centuries. Uh, it would also have severe impacts on people's lives, and for the most part, uh, they will be negative. As far as Copenhagen goes, one certainly hopes... Uh, somebody draws a halt to uh, this march uh, to the precipice.